Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing, how to generate passive income from a diversified portfolio of high-yield funds. And as you already know, the most talked about income-enhancing strategy talked about on this channel are covered calls. And one of my personal favorite types of covered call ETF, types of covered call product out there are these all-in-one covered call ETFs where you could get one ETF or one product, one fund with many covered call ETFs inside of it, which gives you many advantages, simplicity, instant diversification, of course. And it's finally here, everyone. I know many of you have been waiting, including myself for this one. BMO, the biggest covered call manager uh, in terms of assets uh, under management in Canada has finally released their all-in-one covered call ETF and we're going to review this ETF together. It's ZWQT, the BMO Global Enhanced Income Fund ETF and I'd like to thank BMO Global Asset Management for sponsoring this video and for being a good friend of the channel. So we will do a deep dive into this ETF together everyone. We will look at everything. We will look at what are the holdings? What are you actually investing in if you invest in ZWQT? And I apologize in advance, I might call it Z or Z. I might interchange the Z or the Z. Of course, BMO has all their ETFs start with a Z or Z, which makes it pretty hard, but we'll do our best here. So we'll look at what is inside ZWQT. What are you actually investing? What are the fees? What are the management fees, the management expense ratio? What kind of yield? Um, do you expect to get with this brand new all-in-one covered call ETF? What is BMO's covered call strategy? So we'll review that very briefly as well. What about uh, the taxes, tax implications on the monthly distributions that you will get with this ETF? And that's right, you will get monthly distributions, which is also a very cool advantage for us income investors. And at the end, I'll try to summarize really for who is this ETF? designed for? What kind of investor is it designed for? So let's get started. All right, everyone, let's do a deep dive on ZWQT, the BMO Global Enhanced Income Fund ETF. So whenever you want to look up information or know what an ETF is all about, I strongly suggest them always to always go on the fund's official website. So I am on BMO's website here. So the first thing we need to look at is what is inside this ETF? What are you investing in when you're investing in this ETF? So if you just click on holdings, it'll bring you down to the holdings. And this is a fund that holds other funds, or it's an ETF that holds other BMO covered call ETFs to be specific. So this is the breakdown right here. There are nine ETFs inside of this fund. So you could see them all here with the percentages. So when you're investing in this ETF, everyone, you are, you know, 24.72% of your money is going in the ZWG ETF, for example, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll show it to you here because it's a little bit more easier to digest. This is a promo uh, material that BMO was kind enough to send me on ZWQT. So you have the breakdown here, everyone. So a fund that holds other funds, you have ZWG, you have ZWH, ZWC, ZWE, ZWS. Those, by the way, so the first one, two, three, four, five ETFs make up about a little over 80% of the fund. So these are regional funds, like the name says, right? You see the first one is global, then there's US high dividend, global dividend, Canadian high dividend, Europe high dividend. So these are very popular regional dividend ETFs. So they have the best some of the best dividend companies in the world, for example, for ZWG, in the US for ZWH, in Canada, it's ZWC, in Europe, et cetera, et cetera, with a covered call strategy. And the other four are more sector specific ETFs. Th th these four make up less than 20% of this ETF. So it's ZWT for technology companies, ZWB for Canadian banks, ZWEN for energy companies, and a very small portion, less than 2%, you see that here in ZWK in US banks. So this is really what you're investing in. And let's do a deep dive in each one of these ETFs. I want to show you what kind of stocks there are in these ETFs, because that is really what you are investing in. Okay, everyone, it's very important. So I opened up open them up all here. So let's start with ZWG, the biggest position. So like the name says, you could always gather a lot of information from the name of an ETF, the global high dividend covered call ETF. So high dividend quality companies globally with a covered call strategy, basically. So if you go to holdings in this ETF, remember this one actually makes up the biggest chunk 
of the ETF. You'll see the top 10 companies here. If you click on all, all holdings, you will get all of them. But you should recognize a lot of these stocks. These are actually the stocks in ZWG. But if we go to all holdings, uh, you'll be able to scroll down and see all the companies. So these are basically some of the best dividend, high quality stocks all around the world. And if you scroll down, you could actually have the breakdown here for every one of these ETFs, by the way. Uh, I don't want to spend so much time on this because also the video is going to be too long. But ZWG in particular is one of my personal favorite ones because it is not only diversified in sector, as you could see here on the left hand side, the sector breakdown. Sorry if it's a bit small, let me make it a bit bigger but also it is diversified region, right, by region. So you have, a, of course, a big chunk in the United States, but you have some stuff in Europe here, UK, France, Netherlands, uh, Denmark, Germany. You also have Australia, you have Japan, and of course you have Canada. So pretty much a collection of the best dividend stocks all around the world with a covered call strategy. So that is the first ETF here, ZWG. So the next one, ZWH, is pretty much the same concept some of the top high quality dividend companies, but it's in the United States specifically. And by the way, ZWS is pretty much very, it's a, the identical ETF of ZWH, except it is uh, hedged to Canadian, which means uh, currency fluctuations between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar will not impact ZWS, but it will impact ZWH. So both these ETFs are actually in here. And if you actually combine them, it is the biggest chunk uh, are going to be, you could say, in the US uh, companies or these two US dividend ETFs with covered calls. So let's take a look at zwh as well so if you click on holdings of course these are all going to be in the united states it's all going to be companies you should recognize apple home depot microsoft pfizer jp morgan chase coca-cola abv bank of america so the really quality blue chip dividend companies in america if you scroll down again you'll be able to see the sector allocation so uh as we know the u.s sector very heavy on the two biggest sectors is technology and healthcare. So you see that here, but you have the other sectors as well, all in the United States. Next one is ZWC here, which makes up a fifth, almost, you know, just under 15% of ZWQT. So as you could expect, like the name says, these are going to be top quality dividend companies in Canada. So if you go in holdings, especially if you're Canadian, you will definitely recognize all of them, right? TD Bank, Canadian National Railway, Enbridge, the biggest pipeline company, Royal Bank, Bell Canada, CIBC, Bank of Nova Scotia, of course, BMO is there as well, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, you could always do your own research, come here, click on all holdings to get all of them. But if we scroll down, as you could see, 100% Canada, and here's the breakdown, a very typical Canadian style ETF where you'll have a lot of, uh, in financials and you'll have a lot in energy, uh, utilities, industrials, pretty much nothing in technology and healthcare because those sectors don't exist in Canada. Next one is going to be, uh, that we're going to look at is this one here. So the Europe high dividend covered call ETF hedge the Canadian. This makes up just under 10% allocation of ZWQT. So just like you guessed it, same concept, but high quality dividend stocks in Europe, in Europe, everyone. So if you click on holdings again, uh, by the way, for this one, if you click on holdings, you'll only see uh, that it holds ZWP because ZWP is the uh, non-hedged uh, ETF. Same, same thing, same stocks. So to find the companies, you actually have to look into ZWP. Uh, so I have it here. Let's look on holdings. So maybe you'll recognize some of these companies. Maybe you won't because they are all companies in Europe. I know I recognize Louis Vuitton there. Uh, Total Energies, that's a big energy company in France. Rio Tinto, that's material. So you have the list here again. So again, just like you could kind of see the theme here, high quality blue chip dividend stocks in the specific region. Uh, that the ETF has in its name. So this one is Europe. So of course, you're going to have all the major countries in Europe here, of course, with a big chunk in France, UK, Germany, and Switzerland, because those are the four biggest economies in Europe, in Europe, but you have the other ones too, as well as the sector breakdown here. So now let's go into more. That's pretty much 80% of the ETF guys approximately. The rest are for sector specific covered call ETF. So again, these are all covered call ETFs that are managed by BMO. So ZWT, that makes up 8.4. Like the name says, technology, it's going to be a covered call technology ETF. So here it is. You click on holdings. What are you going to see? All the top technology companies. So you see here, top 10, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, NVIDIA, Broadcom, Adobe, all the best technology companies that you want to see. 
uh, and of course you have even a technology sector breakdown. It's not just a software companies. You have semiconductors, media, interactive media and services, software application, et cetera, et cetera. Even IT consulting, my guess would be that that would be Accenture. Um, so that's a technology one. Uh, 8.4%, 5% in the Canadian banks, ZWB. So this is just going to be the six Canadian banks, everyone with covered calls. So obviously you're going to see the six banks, the next one, and that is 5%. 2.5% of very, very small portion in energy companies. So these are going to be some top energy companies all around the world. Uh, again, you could always check out the companies yourself, but here's the, the breakdown. A lot in the US and Canada, but you have other countries as well. So oil and gas companies, pipeline companies, oil and gas transportation, everything to do with energy. And then the smallest percentage in ZWK, which is just US banks, only 1.7% here. So if you click on hold these, you're going to see the top US banks here. So uh, what is the theme? Uh, what I could tell you right away is this is holds different covered call ETFs, all managed by BMO, all, all which all of them have top quality, not only dividend paying companies, so they're pretty much all dividend companies, except maybe in ZWT, because there's a lot of technology companies like Meta and Amazon that don't have dividends, but most of the other ones, if not all of them, it's all blue chip dividend paying companies. So very solid quality companies, great to hold long term. So this is the breakdown of what you're actually investing in everyone. For ZWQT, you have the breakdown here. So let's talk about fees real quick. So if you go on their website, you'll see that the management fee is 65 basis points. So 0.65% management expense ratio, which is everything included together, is 0.73%, which means for every $1,000 that you invest, for example, in ZWQT, you're going to be paying a fee of $7.30 for every $1,000 that you invest. So very, very low management fee, management expense ratio, much lower than mutual funds, right? That's for sure. And another question I know you probably have, well, listen, if ZWQT holds other ETFs, am I paying double the fees? Am I paying the fees of ZWQT and all the other ones, which by the way, if you, you know, you could go and check all of them if you want, they're mostly all, I believe they're all 0.65% management fee. So the answer is no, it, BMO is not double dipping. You're not paying two times 0.65% or two times 0.72 or sorry, 0.73%. So uh, you're only paying that management fee once. BMO cannot charge you double the management fee because it is their own products inside the ETF, right? Inside ZWQT. So there is no double dipping. So don't worry, you are only paying this management fee for everything, even though it has other ETFs inside of it. So last thing I want to uh, cover right here in this um, topic is going to be, so we covered the holdings, we covered the fees, you know what you're investing in, you know what kind of fees you're paying. What about the yield? What kind of yield can you expect? Well, this ETF uh, you could see here has an estimated distribution yield of 6.8%. So just under 7% estimated yield. Remember, this is just an estimate. The first distribution has not even been declared yet. So the distribution amount is pretty much going to be an amalgam of what the distribution amounts or what the yields are for all these ETFs, right, with, with these percentages. So you will get pretty much, you know, whatever these ETFs are doing altogether, the amalgam of that. And right now, they're estimating that you're going to get under just under 7%. But of course, this could change. We'll see what the when, when the first distribution comes out. So that in a nutshell is ZWQT, everyone. Let's talk a little bit now of the, of the cover cost strategy and also of, of the taxes, of the tax efficiency of this fund as well. Uh, let's get to it. So let's talk about the covered cost strategy, everyone. So in case you're a bit newer to the channel, you never heard of the term covered calls or a covered call ETF or covered call strategy ever. I'm not really going to go into it in this video because I've already done it many, many times uh, on the channel. And by the way, in case you're completely new to covered calls, you don't know what the covered call strategy is or what, what these ETFs, how they generate their income. I do have a uh, intro to covered call ETFs video, which I strongly suggest. This is also a video sponsored by BMO, where I use BMO covered call ETFs, some of which are in this new product to explain what covered calls are, what a covered call ETF is and how they work. So make sure to check out that video in case you're newer uh, to, to covered call ETFs. I also have another Q&A right there you see there 
with uh, Daniel Nezio and Chris Heeks. He's the actual one of the covered call managers who actually manages these funds. And we talk about covered calls, cover call strategy for almost an hour. So trust me, by the time you finish watching these two videos, you'll know exactly what the cover call strategy is all about, how it works and how you could easily get a very high yield of just under 7%. So let's talk about the specific cover call strategy that BMO has real quick here. I know I've talked about this many times on the channel and but, so it, it's completely explained in this great document here. So BMO basically explains what the cover call strategy is, but their methodology, what is their style? of doing cover calls and if you're interested go to any one of their covered call etfs uh click on documents and it will be this document here the covered call options strategy pdf so this is the document we're checking so uh this is really right here call writing implementation again a lot of the document explains what a call option is the technical behind it i'm not going to go through that right in this video but i want to talk about as we know if you're more experienced and know what cover call strategy is there's two factors there's always two factors that you need to know uh are the calls at the money or out of the money so this pretty much tells you how aggressive the covered calls are and what is the percentage of the portfolio that they're covering so it's very simple guys bmo it's a very systematic approach that they use for all their ETFs. Out of the money call options are sold on approximately 50% of the portfolio. So there you go. The coverage is approximately 50% of the portfolio, which means they're only doing covered calls or writing covered calls on 50% of the ETF of the portfolio. Of course, this depends on market conditions and they're using out of the money call options which means, you know, if a stock ABC is at $10, if you're writing a call option at, at $10, that's at the money. But if you're writing it at $11, that's out of the money. A 10% out of the money call, to be exact, 10 to 11%, right? So these are less aggressive calls, which means you're still, not only are is half of your portfolio participating in whatever the upside of the stocks do, because only 50% is covered, but the other half, yes, they're writing covered calls on it, but you're not giving up the entire percentage of upside because they're writing out of the money calls, right? So they do one to two month to expiry. So these are short call options that they write. You know, you could do call options for one month, two months, but even six months, seven months. So these are shorter, very short call options, which means there's less chance that they're gonna be exercised. So there's less upside that you give, but this really, summarizes it perfectly when we're talking about the BMO cover call strategy. They really try to find or strike a balance between generating income or extra income on top of those dividends, right? And participating in rising markets. This approach can potentially provide exposure to the underlying portfolio. You're getting exposure to the stocks inside these ETFs with significantly less risk. Why is it saying that? So a lot of people think, you know, you're getting higher yield. It's more risk. It's actually the opposite when you're doing covered calls. It's with less risk. And by the way, fun fact, whenever you look at any BMO covered call ETF, you scroll down, you will see that here. You'll see always a line, something like call option writing reduces volatility. So that is simply because when you're writing, when you're doing a covered call option strategy, you're getting more yield and you're, which means you're getting more income. That's what actually cushions your downside, Right. Uh, so you have limited downside protection, basically. So if the stock market goes, takes a tumble, goes down, while well, those call options pretty much cushion the blow because you're getting, you're generating some extra income from those call options. So it lowers your risk. It does not increase your risk. However, the trade-off is that if markets go up rapidly, you will give up some of that upside. So BMO's covered call approach in summary is very, very balanced. It's not aggressive at all. Uh, and it, like, like it said in the document, it tries to find the right balance between income, but also grabbing that upside when the markets go up. Now let's talk about taxes on dividends. So obviously you're, you're going to ask yourself, well, how are these high monthly distributions or high dividends taxed? Uh, well, they're taxed very efficiently. You'll see that here. Whenever you look at a covered call ETF website, they'll always say that, you know, you have tax efficiency with these distributions. And the reason is simple. It's because covered call options is uh, capital gains. It's not interest. Like if you would buy a GIC, you would get interest income or bonds like fixed income, bonds, preferred share, things like that. That's interest income, which is taxed fully. But when you're dealing with uh, 
covered call options, they are taxed as capital gains. So they're literally taxed 50% better than regular income or you know interest income. And you could see that here. So let's take an example here. Let's take ZWC. If you actually click on tax and distributions, and by the way, you could actually do this for every single ETF, click on tax and distributions. And right here, you see distribution tax. So let's check out 2022, the, the breakdown of the 2022 taxes. So uh, $1.20, this was the total distributions uh, given out for ZWC for 2022. So of course, ZWC has a lot of Canadian dividend stocks, so you can expect a lot of eligible dividends. So you see here a good chunk, just under 50% of that $1.20, 59 cents of it is eligible dividends, but the rest is not gonna be under here, other income, which is the worst income it's gonna be under capital gains and return of capital. So that is where the tax efficiency comes in. Capital gains is taxed 50% better uh, than interest income, AKA other income. Of course, every one of these ETFs could be different. In the global one, in the Europe one, and even in the US one, you're gonna expect some foreign income, right? Because these are companies outside of Canada. Who is this ETF or covered call ETFs in general? But of course, we're talking specifically of ZWQT. What kind of investor would want to invest in this? Why would they want to invest in it? Well, reason number one, of course, is higher yield. You have this here, the benefits of enhanced income ETFs. Higher yield. So obviously, you're getting higher yield than just owning dividend stocks. And if you get a basket of dividend stocks, you typically get between 3 and 4% yield if you're lucky. But here, you're getting just under 7 So you're getting high yield. So this is definitely geared towards income-oriented investors that are prioritizing income. Uh, let's see what else. Over 9 billion in AUM. So BMO, in case you didn't know, is the largest covered call and experienced covered call manager in Canada. Uh, they own the biggest slice of the pie. So they're, they're very experienced. They have the majority of the market. So that's very, very, they're very trustworthy. Um, lower volatility, right? This, I already discussed that. When you add a cover call strategy to anything, you're lowering your risk, you're lowering your volatility. Tax efficiency, that's because of tax efficient income. Discuss that. Monthly cash flow, these are, these are going to give you monthly distributions. You don't have to wait every three months like if typically you would own uh, most individual stocks. Easy to access, simple to use. Of course, it's easy to access. It's just one ETF. It's very easy to buy an ETF now. Uh, everyone, anyone could do it, right? You could access it via any broker. Very simple to use because all you need is one. Low cost, not very high management fee. And of course, you have instant diversification. Not only sector, but region. We, we did the breakdown. We saw that disciplined approach transparent so bmo uses a very systematic approach not very aggressive with their covered call writing it's it's a really nice balance with income but also growth as well and this line really sums it up beautifully i think zwqt could be zwqt can be considered a defensive strategy as downside returns can be reduced so by the option premiums generated from writing covered calls that's where that cushion comes in right investors can experience Consistent monthly distributions, typically higher than a regular dividend strategy or just dividend stocks, along with the de benefits of diversification from an asset allocation ETF. So this is really for investors who want a simple all-in-one solution. I just want to get one ETF. I want to be completely diversified. I want to have instant diversification. I want to have high monthly income, and I want to have a little bit more defense by investing in some of the best quality stocks all around the world so that pretty much sums it up everyone and again if you you know you want to know more about covered calls covered call strategy you don't really understand how it works check out these two videos uh, on my channel and by the way bmo you know they have a, a youtube channel called etf market insights uh i've actually been a guest host on not one not two but three videos where we discuss covered call etfs covered call strategy in general so trust me after watching these five videos you'll be an expert i think in covered call etfs and covered call strategy so i'll put all the links to these videos in the description below if you have any questions everyone let me know in the comment section below um bmo has advised me that if there are a lot of questions uh we could have the a covered call manager on the channel to answer all your questions so don't be shy if you have, something is not clear let me know in the comment section below and maybe within a month or two we'll have a another guest appearance um bmo covered call manager back on the channel so hopefully you learned and you know exactly what zwqt is all about see you next time